Hello, Tube. How's everybody today? Today is June 7th, 2017. And I turned 40 today. And, uh, in a bit of a little bit of a midlife crisis. <clears throat> I took the, uh, or I'm off on Wednesdays, as you guys know, probably, because I've told you. Um, been a little bit down today, you know, with turning 40. My dad, you know, being gone now two years. Never thought I'd spend my 40th birthday without my dad. You know, dying at 65 years old. And then you also think about, you know, getting older and also not knowing where you're going to go with your life. <clears throat> like I talked to you guys about with the dilemma. So I'm sitting at home, out on my back deck, enjoying a nice cold one. And I made a decision today. I'm going to go with Premier Transportation. I love working at Walking Shepherd, I really do. But, as I'm getting ready to show you, enjoying your job and them working on a pay doesn't stop your bills from coming in. I went down to Premier, as you guys saw that day. If you haven't seen it, it's on an earlier video. I called the dispatcher again today. Notice I said dispatcher, not recruiter. I actually called my dispatcher from Premier and asked her if you know, we can do different loads. They can get you up to 2,500 miles a week if you want being local. They can do as low as 1,500, 1,000, whatever you want to do. I will be local pulling for tractor supply. It is 20 minutes from my house, <clears throat> maybe 25. Um, I'll be home every single night. I'll be making um, probably two and a half times the amount I'm making now. Um, the coolest thing is, is they said they work me. They'll, if I tell them how many miles I want to run that week, that's what they'll do. Um, before I get into that, I want to show you guys something. I have every paycheck here that I ever see to walk in Shepherd since I've started. Just so you guys know I'm not bullshitting. I'm what they call a two-nighter. I get out Monday, come home Tuesday, off Wednesday, out Thursday, home Friday. Now when I started, I was home, or I worked Wednesdays because uh, if they needed me, um, they would run me. Um, we're caught up now, which is fine because I signed up for the four-day deal. Um, like I've said before, you know, the other places get $20 a stop. I only get $5 per carpet, 50 cents a piece if I touch it, and then straight flat rate, $10 for furniture, 1 to 5. And then 5 to 38, you get 15. And anything over 15, uh, 38, you get 44 cents a piece. So, for instance, the other day I delivered 41 pieces of furniture to a store and got paid $18.40. If I would have delivered six pieces of furniture to that store, I would have gotten $15. That's how fucked up this pay is. Alright, so, I don't even care to show this. I just want to show you I'm not bullshitting you, okay? So, I've got every paycheck from when I started. Make sure they're all here, yeah. Okay, so my first paycheck, I worked one day and they stuck me on a home delivery out where I delivered furniture to homes put together bedroom sets and all stuff that's not what I was hired to do worked one day they paid me fifteen dollars an hour and I made one hundred and fifty three dollars and then I hurt myself and my boss was off so I had to take a week off and came back <clears throat> And finally started running my route. So, they were so behind, so messed up, that I had um, three pretty good trips. I ended up making 1,600 miles on my route, which is unheard of. So, my first check with them was a little bit deceiving. As you can see right here, these are your trip pays, okay? So they break it down. They break it down. Mileage, carpet handled, carpet not handled, um, 
your load and unload, and uh, how many stops you did. So as you can see, I had I had three stops on there because I did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Actually, I take it back. It was Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Bottom line is they had me running all over the place because they screwed up. So I brought home for that trip. What, 68645, is that right? 68645. So I have my first check with them and I'm sitting there thinking, right on. Yeah, I'm cool with that. If I can bring home around 600 some dollars, okay? Well, then it gets real. Oh. So my next check, I run my regular route. I get um, my Monday, Tuesday, and uh, Thursday, Friday. Two trips. One week paycheck. 358.45. So my next route. They uh, they got me, and uh, I ended up bringing home. This is a big one. They only had one load assignment on there because of the uh, you had to have them turned in by Wednesday, and since I was off Wednesday, I don't get to turn them in, so I don't want load assignment. So the next week, I got. 253.04. Okay, so the next week, the assignment that didn't get turned in gave me an extra assignment on there, which ended up making me get 638.40. Now that sounds good, but the problem is you could honestly take this trip assignment off here and you got 800. And eighty dollars. Divide that by two. That would have been four forty each week. That's what I would have brought home. Because if you took one of those assignments off that was supposed to be on this trip, that's what I would have brought home. So technically, I didn't make six hundred dollars. It was a carryover from the one that didn't get mailed in. And then here's one that really gets me. I had four trips on this one. Four. Normally you get three. I had four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Five hundred dollars. I'm a class A CDL driver. Spending nights out in a truck stop. Spending money. And that's what I'm bringing home. I have one somewhere for a hundred and something, but I couldn't find it. But I just wanted to show you guys what what was up with that. Um, so if you're going to walk in Shepherd in Indiana, they are working on it, and they're great people. Boss is great, dispatch is great. They have their problems like anybody else. I think right now the biggest problem is Schneider and Walking Shepherd working together. Like I told you before, I had to give them information on stuff. It is going up the chain, I have been told. But I can't wait any longer because I've got bills to pay. You tell me that you can live off of... Let me see what I made last... What I brought home last month. If you guys don't mind holding on real quick. I didn't even bring $2,000 home last month. As a Class A CDL driver going over there or spending two nights away from home my job before this i worked maybe 20 hours a week as a sales rep and i i, I brought that home so needless to say i decided that i would call Premier today and go over it one more time with him and talk with him because i really don't want to drive 2500 miles a week i did over the road i don't want to do it i don't need to be rich like I showed you guys, I was fine bringing home six hundred some dollars a week. I can't bring home five hundred one week and three hundred the next, and then two hundred fifty the next. 
So I did all the positives and negatives. Positives walking shepherd. I love it. I love my route. I love my home time. But the pay is just not there. My equipment sucks. My truck's piece of crap's falling apart. Um, you know, I love having my Wednesdays off for doctor's appointments and stuff like that. But this other job, I'll be home every night and um, making a lot more money. And I, um, you know, it's, it's close. It's, you know, a lot closer. And on top of that, um, I won't have to miss anything of my son's. Making two and a half times my money, plus the five thousand dollars sign-on bonus for Indiana people because they're so hurting in Indiana, and they uh, they don't mess around. They actually give you a five thousand dollar check. I think it's on your hundred eightieth day, maybe. They don't do that crap where they pay you over six months. They actually on your whatever that day is, they cut you a check just like your regular check. They take taxes out and everything. But they cut you a five thousand dollar check for your bonus, so that's going to be nice. Not to mention the the pay and being home every day. And I'm only going to be running Ohio and Indiana, you know. And it's up to me how many miles I want to go. If I want to start out at fifteen hundred and work my way up, but I even calculated at fifteen hundred miles plus their stop paying everything, I will be bringing home. Um, about 600 some dollars a week if I only do 1500 miles. Um, I'm getting a seven cent increase there a mile. I'm getting a $25 stop pay increase there and a hundred dollar a month safety bonus. And they have a ten thousand dollar yearly uh safety bonus that you get. A, it's a drawing, of course, but if you're safe all year. And knock on wood, I've been driving a while now and I haven't had a I haven't had an accident yet. My CSA score is perfect. Hope I didn't jinx myself, but I am pretty careful. I drive the speed limit, I pay attention to what I'm doing. So, you know, I know it's not always me, it's other people, but right now I'd be getting that bonus, you know. And um on top of that, you know, just the being home every night's gonna be nice. So uh talking to the dispatcher made it better because i know she's not gonna lie to me um i actually went down sitting looked at the computer with her and she showed me routes she showed me the a guy's route that wants 2500 a week so shows me where he runs shows me a guy that runs little week you know like runs like uh i think the first stop's 54 miles away from there um i'm looking at running maybe like a medium you know between 1500 and 2000 a week starting out and seeing how it feels and seeing if that's where I want to be. Uh, I'm off. I get my choice of being off Friday and Saturday or Saturday and Sunday, which I'll be off Saturday and Sunday. I, I love football, so I'm not going to work Sundays. Um, on top of that, um, yeah, they got new tractors. <clears throat> you know, being a day cab, it'll be a little different, but, you know, be easier to turn and stuff. So. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. So i got to put my two weeks in at Watkins and then uh, go do the orientation and all that fun stuff for Premier and start that new chapter of my life. And best of all, start building up my bank account because right now I don't. we're barely scraping by. And, uh, you know, I'm tired of that. I went to this, you know, go get my driver's license or my CDL because I wanted to make money and more money than I was and not be stressed. And now I'm stressed about money. Kind of ironic, and nothing bad to say about Walking Shepherd. Um, I think the Schneider takeover is going to be good for him, but I just don't have the time to wait. I, I, you know, the bills don't stop just because I'm waiting on my management to come through and be like, hey, you know, we're working on it. Well, you're working on it, but I'm still getting $250 or $350 paycheck. Um, the best I can do, I, I figured out the other day, I had a hell of a run last two weeks, or last week, and uh, the best I did, I made uh, 300 maybe, and that two trips is where I should be all the time, but that's because they ran out of stops up north and ran me all the way down here to where I live, so I put on mileage, I'm making more out of mileage than I am out of my stop base, so... 
Um, that was a fluke. So, yeah, running up there, not getting a lot of mileage, and stop pays not being there. The best I can do a trip is about a hundred dollars a day, maybe a hundred and ten. So, I'm not even gonna be bringing home four hundred dollars at that point. So, anyway, I just wanted to kind of update everybody what's going on, and uh, yeah, pretty much spend the rest of my birthday just kind of hanging out and chilling out here and go from there so hope you guys like the video if you do subscribe and follow me and uh i'll keep you updated on what's going on and uh looks like i'm gonna be putting in my two weeks notice there so any questions or comments leave them below and i will uh, get back to you guys on it and i uh, hope you guys have a great day stay safe out there if you're driving and uh thanks for following me and watching me see ya